Hi guys, welcome back to Jaden Crafts. And today I'm gonna be doing a super fun, little super speedy, not with me on this cute little bunny. So let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to my channel in general you know welcome back to the not with me's love them love the <laughs> love the format of the not with me's just like chit chat with you all while you can watch me make my whatever i'm making in this instance it is a cute little bunny for the start of spring I was looking for another wall hanging to do because as you hopefully know, I just made one not too recently for my how to end or how I end my wall hangings and it was this very cute like smiley face wall hanging with tons of different smiley faces that are all like distorted and like wiggly and stuff like that. So, if you want to learn how to end your wall hangings, I recommend you uh, go watch that. Or if you want to know how I end my wall hangings, then just go over there and watch that video if you want. And I was in the mood of another wall hanging because I love making, like, big projects and then seeing the aftermath of them and, like, the products that you get for them from them. So, I decided I wanted to make another one. And I didn't necessarily want to do another design because that one was very chaotic. I kind of wanted to do another animal because I love making animals. I love naming them. I love, like, the whole idea of them being, like, not real, but, like, still, like, your, your friend, I guess. But they're, like, hanging on your wall or sitting on your bed as, like, a stuffed animal. I just, it's just so, like cute and just you know having that imaginary friend or whatever just naming them and having them by your side you know you know like you get the gist of that and I was scrolling through the to do's saw this cute little bunny and just started making it and then my mom was like oh you're making that for spring for Easter and I was like oh I forgot that it was <laughs> springtime so yeah Apparently I'm making this for spring and I didn't even know it. I just randomly picked it out and it matched perfectly with the season. And I was pretty stoked about that because I just randomly picked it and then I was like, oh, it matches my uh, go-to, you know, my <laughs> season that I'm in right now. So yeah, actually, <laughs> funny story about this whole voiceover situation I was editing and I finished editing like the intro and the outro and then doing like little edits with the time lapse and I sped it up like nine times that's why I call it the super speedy <laughs> one it might not look as like speedy as you might have thought it would from the title but like I sped it up quite a bit like if you saw it from real time it's crazy <laughs> But what was I what was I talking about? Hold on, hold on. Keep the brain on track. Keep the brain on track. Oh <laughs> I actually already put in the video, already set up like the description and the title and put it into YouTube, ready to post, and I edited the outro, edited the intro, did all the little tweaks and stuff, and I hadn't filmed this voiceover. Legit forgot to film the voiceover so <laughs> and yeah I was kind of stressing out about that so this is like the uh the uh aftermath of that and we are taking it back we're gonna have to I already copied and pasted like well not pasted copied the description so we're all good with that but yeah <laughs> just wanted to give you a little real talk of being a YouTuber, you know, sometimes you forget to do things and sometimes you need to do that and fix your mistakes, but it's okay. We're all good. We're all set. And yeah, I'm super like really in an alpha swing right now, which is crazy because I normally wouldn't 
tend to go for an alpha because I normally like doing normal patterns and like all of the cool designs and how they're not just knotting like down a row like forward knots and then backward knots and then forward knots and then backward knots and color switches and I usually like the different lines and diamonds and all the designs that you can do with normal patterns oh my gosh excuse me <laughs> and I don't know I've just been in a more specifically wall hanging kick I don't know if I think we all experience like our slumps and then our like highs of doing a certain thing like sometimes it's okay to put down like a craft like bracelet making or crocheting or like bullet journaling or whatever you can put that down for a little bit if you're getting tired of it and just step away from it and it's okay to do that you don't have to stick with it every 24 hours 24 7 and just do bracelets every single time like for me as you can see probably in my content you can see that I go through different like humps of things like I was really into crochet for I don't know like December January February ish more of the December fe February but I just like stopped making bracelets and I didn't have any motivation to do them I was just like not feeling it you know so it's okay to step back from a craft i've seen a lot of people making like rings out of wires and like gems i saw that on instagram and it's it looks like a cool craft if i have if i had like the materials to do that i think i would do that but like it's just so fun to branch out into different things and make different crafts like my rug that i was making the tropical tree thing like the island and the sand with the latch hook technique that's just it's just cool to branch out and do I also did like a bead craft where you use like a bead loom and super thin string it's just so fun and I also do bullet journaling and painting and it's just I love oh and digital art like I just love being creative with that and I experienced like a lot of other people in this craft love being creative so if you are not feeling very much motivation to make bracelets then you can always pick up another craft and you can just switch between them you know it's fun to have different like options of your creativity to spread around and just put down a craft or do multiple at one time or just stop doing crafts altogether and just like step back take a break take a deep breath and just focus on yourself focus, focus, oh my gosh I can't speak <laughs> focus on your mental health just take a break or you can just like do multiple crafts I really recommend doing a lot of crafts or maybe two crafts or just stick to one craft if you're good at that but my idea is for me anyways it's best to like branch out because sometimes I just really don't have the motivation to do bracelets like I'm just like that's gonna take so much time and I get really into overthinking the hobby and sometimes I just need to step back like sometimes that's that just happens you know so if you feel like you're losing motivation for bracelets just take a break sit back relax and just like enjoy your creativity because a lot of people in the community I like see people that are like oh I'm sorry I take a break and stuff like that and I'm like oh that's okay and they're like I started crochet and people are like why why are you doing crochet and not bracelets and da 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 like it's okay we need to be more relaxed and just let our creative juices flow anywhere they want to and if you need to take a break it's okay so yeah I went on a little rant about that but I just have been feeling the motivation to make a wall hanging <laughs> and yeah there's the little um what is it called tying up the square knots and yeah, hope you enjoyed my little rant. Love the cute little bunny. Make sure you leave name suggestions in the comments down below. See ya! Bye! <laughs>
so yeah that was the super speedy little not with me wasn't really a little not with me because of the product but i made this super like very aesthetic i would say looking bunny it's i really really love it it is super cute i love the gradient shifting string of the green it is super cute with like the brown and the pink little inside of the ears oh my gosh it is so cute i hope you enjoyed this cute little super speedy knot with me and the pattern number if you like to make this cute little wall hanging is 80683 on bracelet book and i can't wait for you to see it on my wall in the next video so stay tuned for that and if you liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and i mean if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button it would be much appreciated by me and if you're already subscribed make sure that you check and see that you're not unsubscribed because sometimes youtube does that you know they're a little bit tricky with their subscribe button so make sure you're subscribed because we are pretty lit pretty awesome and yeah i hope you all have a marvelous day and yeah bye guys